of the century. It was no crime at all. The jury today said it was no crime at all. Here is video of Mr. Smollett shortly before he learned his fate, as every day we've seen him walking in arm in arm with his gaggle of supporters. There will be some interesting legal kerfuffles to still deal with after this. Did this case get fully adjudicated years ago? That's what he would say. Well, the special prosecutor would say it was fully adjudicated today. And a jury of 12, six men, six women in Cook County, two years after the crime that split apart America, said Jesse Smollett is guilty. For those of you sticking with us here on CBSN Chicago, Jesse Spillett found guilty of five of six counts. Basically, a jury deemed today he did concoct the entire story. It was all a ruse. It was all an attention grab. It was a fake hate crime, one to get attention. The counts he is guilty of Let's list them off. One, telling a police officer that he was a victim of a hate crime. Two, telling same police officer he was a victim of a battery. Three and four, telling a different police officer the same thing, victim of a hate crime, victim of a battery. And count five, telling same officers in count three and four that again he was a victim of a battery. Class four felonies, Max three years in prison, has a prior no low contendere, no contest cop to lying to cops in California that could come into play at sentencing, which could indeed send the one time star to jail. And there's also a question of whether he goes to jail tonight. Producers, we would like to go where? Kimberly Gowen. It's good to bring in old friend, a lawyer. She has her finger on the pulse of the community. Want to get your reaction to five guilty counts. Well, you know, Brad, first of all, thank you very much uh, for having me today. I think that it, many people were concerned the amount of time that it was taking for this. Um, and one of the reasons why is because really all the jury had to do was go into the room and decide which side was lying. In this case, no one is contesting that the two Osendiro brothers are the ones who did, in fact, commit the physical act. Jesse Smollett says that it was an attack against his person, which he did not participate in and they said that it was a hoax. So that was really the only thing. It was trying to figure out who was telling the truth and who was lying. Um, and I think that the jury came back with, in this case, all the evidence pointed to Jesse Smollett participating in the hoax. The one thing that is um, interesting about this is that the city has been almost um, suspended. Um, we have had to deal with this for almost three years now, Brad. Uh, beginning with what now people are saying was a hoax, beginning with the uh, what was alleged that it was a hate crime, which now the, the court, the jury has said, in fact, that was a lie. Lots of people lining up on different sides. Uh, even President Trump's name was brought into this. We had, uh, at that time, the Chicago Police Department superintendent going around making different statements to national news about this. We had a Cook County State's attorney who was dragged into this as well. And there were questions about her propriety and, and her involvement in this, which could have cost her an election, but did not. And then we had to suffer through more investigations, special prosecutor, and now this trial to get justice. Now, when you look at some of the other cases that have gone on around this country, even in Wisconsin with Kyle Rittenhouse or what happened in Georgia with Ahmad Arbery or what's happening right now in um, in Minnesota 
um, with, with the trial of Kim Potter and whether or not she murdered that, that young man. Those cases just seem to be of uh, far more significance than, than this one. This one, I think most people just felt like we were dragged into it. And now it feels as though the saga may actually be over and many people are breathing a sigh of relief. Interesting insight there. Yes, we were indeed dragged into it. But also it had the potential for a divided America, far right, far left, to each one heard something different in their own echo chamber. And they screamed when this first came out. Will that be silenced? We don't know. Other conversations were brought up about this. Uh, Black Lives Matter wasn't as much of a conversation pre-Jesse Smollett. Gender fluidity, so on. Uh, now we have